state leaders are hearing discussions from the public on a bill that put thousands of dollars into savings accounts for Alabama students. It's called the Parental Rights in Children's Education, or PRICE Act. How many parents and community members weighed in on the legislation? NBC 15's Kelly Foster reports why some believe it will empower families, while others believe the proposal will only hurt poor students. The Price Act calls for the state to put $6,900 into an education savings account for those who homeschool, go to private school, or choose to go to school outside their district. But former homeschooling parent Scott McDonald believes this bill will limit the choices of those who are homeschooled. Although his children are out of school, McDonald values the homeschooling system. He chose to homeschool his children in the 90s because he believed that traditional values were being taken out of public schools. It was also convenient for his family. The Price Act sponsor, Senator Larry Stutz, is hoping the bill would make it easier for parents to transfer their children from public schools to private ones. He says he doesn't think there will be a mass exodus from one school to another if the legislation passes. Parents or schools also have the choice to opt into the program. Many opposers like McDonald believe the bill will take away some freedoms to those who homeschool or go to private schools and interfere with the free market process. This money would go to benefit really a small class of people who are generally more wealthy, mostly people who can afford to send their kids to private schools. So it's not helping fix problems in the public schools. It's really welfare for the wealthy. And, uh, and I oppose it because it's going to bring the state regulations into the homeschool environment. The Alabama Policy Institute put out a statement in support of the Price Act. It claims the act would empower parents to educate their children according to their needs. Kelly Foster, NBC 15 News.